Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest turquoise ribbon necklace ever. You will need turquoise squares as well as ribbon. I chose yellow because it's such a fun and bright color for spring. Next you will need a glue gun. You will also need scissors and a measuring tape. I actually forgot to show you the measuring tape. So the first step is to measure about 25 inches of ribbon and if you don't want a choker or if you're you know, bigger than me, taller than me, you might want it to be a bit longer depending on your size and height. So I chose 25 inches because I wanted it to look like a choker but you know, measure according to how long you want your necklace to be. So I'm placing the ribbons in my hand and I'm checking for where it meets in the middle and I'm going to press firmly in the middle. And what I want from the necklace is to make a V-shaped necklace. But I want both sides to be the shiny side. So I'm creating this right angle with my fingers, like so. And as you can see, it creates a perfect right angle with both sides shiny, right? So next I'm getting my glue gun and I'm going to apply some glue onto the ribbon and this will make the perfect right angle. And then I'm going to place my scissor on top and wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue the part that hasn't been glued together like that. And this will create the perfect right angle and it will make a V-shaped ribbon necklace. So again, grabbing that glue gun and then placing the scissor on top. And now you have your perfect V-shaped ribbon. And now you're ready to practice putting your beads on top. Of course, practicing is great because you want to know how it'll look, right? So this is a fast forward version of me applying my beads as well as the glue onto the ribbon necklace or the future ribbon necklace. And then you're gonna wanna do it on the other side of the ribbon necklace too, on the right side since you worked on the left side. And then you're going to press firmly and make sure um, it's dry and then when it's dry you can flip it over like I did and then apply glue to the places that need more glue and as you can see in between the beads you're going to have to glue those together as well. And that is all. Your necklace is ready. Put it on and I hope you have a fabulous time wearing your necklace. Everywhere you go you're going to look amazing and people are going to be like where did you get your necklace and you can happily say I made it myself from watching April Athena's video. Just kidding. I love you from afar.